Today I'm going to be installing the Terraflex HD hinge reinforcement and adjustable spare tire mount for the Jeep JK and I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks along the way. So without further ado, let's get into it. Adding a tire carrier to your Jeep not only improves the look of your Jeep, but it also is a functional modification that you can do to protect your factory hinges from being damaged or warped uh, from the weight of a spare tire or anything that you mount on the hinge itself. Now a tire carrier isn't going to be one of those big flashy mods that you do to your Jeep uh, that everyone is going to notice. In fact, it's probably one of those modifications that a lot of people won't see, but it is definitely necessary if you are going to run bigger tires and put a lot more weight on the tailgate. These factory hinges, especially on the JK, are not built to handle the weight of a larger 35 to 40 inch tire especially. Now there are a few different options that you can go with when you're trying to decide on which tire carrier you want for your Jeep. The first option and option that I decided to go with is a low profile hinge reinforcement and tire carrier from Terraflex. The other option that a lot of people tend to do is buy a rear bumper with a tire carrier that mounts to the rear bumper. Now obviously there are pros and cons to each type of setup. One thing that I like about a hinge reinforced tire carrier versus a bumper mounted tire carrier is that the hinge mounted tire carrier does not require you to open up a separate latch when you're trying to open up your tailgate. Now there are some bumper mounted tire carriers that do connect to the spare tire, but we found that a lot of those tend to squeak or rattle when you're driving down the road, which is obviously annoying. The reason I went with the Terraflex tire carrier and hinge reinforcement is that it sits nice and flush up against the tailgate. It's super low profile and it's very light. Since it is made out of aluminum and not steel, it's definitely going to help save on weight compared to the bulky and heavy steel bumper mounted tire carriers. But I'm excited to get started with this installation, so let's get right into it. First thing that I'm going to do is just remove these plastic covers off of the tailgate. I'm not going to remove these two bolts from the hinges yet because I want to make sure that I put a spacer underneath to reinforce it after the bolts have come off, but I can go ahead and remove the spare tire carrier. So before I get all of these bolts on the spare tire carrier removed, I'm actually going to disconnect the third brake light because there is a wire running inside the Jeep. So I want to make sure that this is disconnected before getting all of the bolts loose. Now once this is uh, separated, there's just a little clip here. Alright, once this is separated, all you have to do is pull off the connector wires and then feed it through the tire carrier in the back here. Alright, so now that we got the tire carrier off the back, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this down and make sure that it's all nice and clean. So once the black plastic covers are removed off of the hinge, I went ahead and placed a little spacer underneath of the tailgate just so that it can support the weight of the tailgate before I remove the hinges because once these hinges are gone, there's nothing holding this in place. And then I'm going to use the included Allen wrench to remove the factory bolts from the hinge as well. All right, so now that the four bolts are off of the tailgate, the tailgate can now move freely. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the factory hinges. Now there's three bolts. There's one on um, 
one on the outside and two on the inside. I'm going to use the included Torx bit Allen wrench to remove the factory bolts. After removing the factory hinges off the Jeep, we noticed that there was quite a bit of rust left on where the hinges were removed. So we went ahead and grinded those down and then we used a lacquer thinner to clean them and then I was sprayed over them with a truck bed liner just to make sure that they don't rust even further after we put on the Terraflex hinge carrier. So once the bed liner has dried on the tailgate, I can go ahead and start installing the hinge reinforcement. Now for the first step of this, what I'm going to do is reuse the existing Torx bolts that were holding the factory hinges in place. So there's three per bracket. I'm going to reuse those. Um, so I'm just going to get the first one started here. I'm going to be using a thread locker to make sure that these bolts are nice and snug once they're screwed in. So, ah, there we go. Just pop it off. What if Narva? It's a dog toy now. <laughs> <laughs> Once I've loosely tightened down the Torx bolts, I can go ahead and torque them down to 19 foot-pounds, which is what Terraflex says in their instructions. So we're gonna do that real quick. The tailgate is now stabilized um, in the correct position. I had to kind of maneuver it around to make sure that the tailgate holes line up with the hinge reinforcement. So what I'm going to do now is install the four 12 millimeter bolts that go on the hinge carrier. These are going to replace the factory bolts that were on the old brackets. So these are included in the kit. I'm going to go ahead and screw these in. Once I get these bolts screwed in, they're going to be torqued down to about 15 foot pounds. And that'll make sure that all the bolts are nice and tight and there's no need to apply the thread locker on these ones. So for the next part of the installation, we're gonna be installing the tire carrier. Now this is going to be an adjustable tire carrier. So if you are running bigger or smaller uh, tire sizes, you can move the tire carrier up and down depending on how big of a tire you have. We're gonna be reusing the factory bolts that were in place for the old tire carrier and then there are these rubber gaskets that we're going to put in between the tire carrier and the tailgate as well as the hinge reinforcement. This is going to uh, prevent scratching and hopefully minimize rattling as well. So I did also want to point out that on the other side of the tire carrier here there is going to be a little bit of a gap because the hinge reinforcement does take up a little space here. So. The nice thing about this kit is it does come with two extra brackets. What we're going to do is use a rubber gasket and the rubber gasket is going to go in between the tailgate and the bracket to prevent from scratching. So after these bolts are loosely tightened down, I'm going to go ahead and torque them down to again 15 foot pounds. So before we get the spare tire mounted on the tire carrier, there is an extra bracket that is going to go inside of the tire carrier here. This is what makes it adjustable. So not only can you move the tire up and down depending on uh, the clearance of the rear bumper here, you want to make sure that you clear the little dip. So positioning the lug nuts on the uh, adjustable bracket is going to be essential when assembling the tire carrier. Now we attached one lug nut to the bottom of the spare tire and then we lifted the spare tire up onto um, the tire carrier here. What we did was 
push the spare tire as far against the tailgate as we can and then I used a silver sharpie to mark the edge along where the adjustable bracket lines up with the tire carrier. Now I'm going to take this off and then assemble just the bracket on the spare tire carrier and then we can go ahead and put the spare tire on the Jeep. Ooh, that's cool. That's really cool, actually. All right, guys, so there you have it. This was the installation of the TerraFlex HD hinge reinforcement and tire carrier for the Jeep JK. I gotta say, I really like the look of this thing. It is a smaller, but definitely practical modification that you can do to your Jeep. I wanna say thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the Mission Custom YouTube channel, where I'll be posting more videos and installations like this. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.